Hello, we have been taking up questions on the basic shapes on mens in under mensuration. I will continue this session with more such questions. The first one coming up I'll write is a playground has a shape of a rectangle with two semicircles on its smaller sides as diameters. Added to its outside. If the sides of the rectangle are 36 meter and 24.5 meter find the area of the playground now it's because it doesn't inform about the pi value i'm taking 22 by i will be taking 22 by 7 as it now if we draw um, uh, the figure for this there is a rectangle and there will be two semicircles which I'll draw freehand so kind of not that accurate this is how it might look like it says this side is 36 meters and the smaller side is 24.5 meter as because it has already informed that the Semicircles are on its smaller side as the diameters. I have made it on that uh, on the smaller side. So the total area will be area of this rectangle and the area of these two semicircles. Now I'll first find the area of the rectangle. Area of the rectangle will be simply length into breadth. And that will be 36 into 24.5. That will be, I think, 882 square centimeter. Sorry, square meter. Now we need to find the area of one semicircle. Area of semicircle. That will be pi r square by 2, right? But we have two such semicircles, so it will be 2 pi r square by 2 into 2, thereby giving it as again pi r square. So if we substitute, it will be 22 by 7. If you see, the diameter is 24.5. So if I find the radius, it will be 24.5 by 2, and that's 12.25 whole square or you can keep it as 25 by 2 into 25 by 2 as well mm, this i think will give us 471.63 meter square so the total area will be right here the total area of sorry area will be 882 plus 471 i'm not taking that uh, or i can round it up to 472 so you can round it off if you are rounding it off do mention a note that you have rounded it off otherwise as i am doing you can keep it as 1353.63 up to two decimal places i have taken and this many in square meters let's move on to another question i'll write the next question and we'll take a few minutes to note, note it down the diameter sorry the diameter of a wheel of a bus is 90 centimeters which makes 
315 revolutions per minute determine its speed in kilometers per hour i'm just writing it as per hour now as because again i tell you it's not informed about the pi so i will be taking 22 by 7 again so we need to find how many uh, how long or the what is the distance covered by the wheel in one hour to do so let us find how long does it travel in one minute see in one revolution the wheel in one revolution the wheel covers a distance oh sorry distance as 2 pi r right so it is 22 by 7 into i can make 2 r is d so that is 90 this is in one revolution right but in one minute it makes 350 revolution so in one minute it will be traveling sorry 22 by 7 into 90 into 315 because it says if one revolution is this many mm -hmm. centimeters so it is 315 revolutions in one minute and in 60 minutes we have to find because we have to find the speed per hour that means 60 minutes so how may, how long does it go in 60 minutes if you calculate all of this like 22 um, i think 315 i don't know if is it divisible by 7 i think it is 315 is getting divisible by 7 giving me 45 right now the rest uh, am i doing it right 355 by it's 7 not 315 divided by 7 is 45 and then i have 60 i have another 90 and i have 22 so that's giving me 5 3 4 6 zero 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 and we'll note it down here because this is all in centimeter five three four six zero 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 this is in centimeters now so per kilometer per hour we simply this is already per hour because this mean is per hour we have already find it found it for 60 minutes so it is this many centimeter in 60 minutes to convert it i'll divide it by in kilometers it will be divided by five three four six triple zero divided by one oh sorry divided by one ten thousand and that's giving me fifty three point four six kilometer per hour right hope you followed it we take up another question and write it down in the next page so these are all mostly combination figures right like there is this figure given to us this is a circle a rectangle oh my god a rectangle like this is made and it is informed that this is eight centimeter i'll write it this is eight centimeter this is the shorter side is six centimeters the rectangle is a b c d
we have to find the area of the shaded portion which is given as this or uh, this is a shaded portion and it informs us to take pi as 3.14 find the area of the shaded portion in the figure so what see we don't have a direct formula to find the area of the shaded portion so we'll find the area of the circle a shaded portion will be area of the rectangle minus sorry i made a mistake area of the circle minus area of the rectangle Now what is the area of the circle? It is pi r square. Now to know the pi r square, this is L into B. We don't have the r, so we need to find r which can be found out by finding the diagonal here. If I find the diagonal and if I divide it by 2, that will give us the radius. We can calculate the diagonal or BD as 6 square plus 8 square root over 6 square plus 8 square root over that is 36 plus 64 that is 100 so root over of 100 is 10 centimeter. Now, if BD is 10 centimeter, then the radius will be 5 divided by 2. So, it will be 5 centimeters, right? So, when we are calculating pi r squared, we will write it as, as it is at informed, I told you about pi to be taken as 3.14. And then r squared will be 25, 5 into 5 this minus length into breadth which is 8 into 6 so 3.14 into 25 that's giving me 78.50 and we might subtract 48 from it sorry 48 from it and that will give us 30.50 meter is all in centimeter square so it will be square centimeter right this was not kind of I mean this type of questions you will come across when you are doing these simple ones we can now move on to learning the area of a trapezium or um, some rest of the polygons here in this session I'll simply be explaining how to find the area of a trapezium in the next few sessions we'll be taking up the application questions let me draw a trapezium here though they are not accurate figures i'm drawing this kind of making constructing them without making them parallel but we assume that they are parallel like trapezium has got one pair of parallel sides and in my figure it is a b parallel to c d <coughs> sorry now if you see find area of trapezium is given by a sorry area of trapezium is given by half sum of the two parallel sides here I write sum of the two parallel sides And again it is multiplied by the height when I say height or it can sometimes be referred to as the altitude with mean the perpendicular height this height we mean as because they are parallel they'll remain they both are these dotted lines are same so it is half sum of the two parallel sides into height okay? or you can sometimes come across when it, it is written as distance between the parallel sides but it means the altitude in the next session we'll be taking up application questions on this thank you